hello guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how to create the right on text effect in adobe premiere pro so first import your video onto your timeline next find the portion of your clip where you want to add your text reveal and hit on ctrl k to cut and then you move to the other portion where you want it to end and you also hit on ctrl k to cut next go to your effects tab and search for the gaussian blur effect and apply this effect to the portion of your clip where you want to add your right on text. Next, go to your effects control panel and add blurriness to your clip. So I'm going to add blurriness to 25% and also check the repeat edge pixel. Now you want to go over to your opacity and set your opacity to 90%. Next, move over to the start of your cutout clip and move over to your type tool and type a text but i prefer to use file new legacy title to create my text so i'm just going to go over to legacy title and type right on effect the font size i'm going to be using is the gloss and blue fonts next i'm going to select my text and align to center properly so I'm going to go over to my project panel and drag my text onto my timeline over here. Next, go over to your project panel over here and add new transparent video. Place your transparent video right on top of your text. Next, go over to your effects and search for the effect called right on and apply this effect on your transparent video. Then move over to your effects control tab and under your right on, increase the brush size to 50. Change the brush color to something visible. Take it away from white so it can be visible. So I'll just use red. And you can see red has popped up over here. Next, increase your stroke length to 5 seconds. And your brush spacing to 0.001. Now move your playhead to the beginning of your text once more. Select your transparent video and move your brush position to the start position of your text. So I'll just select on my right on over here and move my brush position to the beginning of my text which is here. Now fit your screen to 25% so you can properly see what you are working with. Toggle on your brush position over here from the beginning of your text and select your right on effect control here to make sure that it animates as you move. So I'm going to move over to the next frame by clicking on this and now I can begin to draw around this text. So I'm going to select this, hit on next frame and Premiere Pro is going to recognize that you've added that. So I'm going to draw it once more. All right guys, I'm going to fast forward from here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fit my screen back to fit. Go back to my project panel and I'm going to bring in a brush stroke and place it directly above my text over here. Next I'm going to resize the scale so it can properly fit. So to remove this black over here I'm going to change my blend mode to screen. Resize this so that it can properly fit.
Next, I'm going to move back to my effects control tab and search for the track mate effect. Apply this effect to your text in layer 2. Now move over to your effects control tab and under your track mate key, you set your mate to video 3. Now the reason why you are setting it to video 3 is that you want to track the text on this video 2 with the transparent video that is on this video 3 layer over here. So automatically you can see that we have removed that effect. So next thing I'm going to do now is to animate this brush stroke over here. So you move over to the point where you want your brush stroke to begin. I want it to begin over here. Move over to your effects panel over here and search for the crop effect. And I'm going to apply this crop effect to my brush stroke. Move over to my first control panel and I'm going to apply crop to the right portion of the brush stroke. So I'm going to make this 100% crop at the beginning. Toggle on and move the keys to the beginning. Then move over to a portion where I want it to stop and then I'm going to make the crop 0%. Next, you want to ease in and ease out. All right, guys, let me go ahead and render that once more and a quick preview of what we have so far. And that's it, guys, on how to create the right on text effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you found this video very helpful. If you did, kindly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.